Hey, hey cousins, welcome back to Cooking with Hannah Soul. And this week we are tackling the oh so famous spicy chicken sandwich. Mmm, y'all. Now what I can promise you is this gonna taste better than any fast food chicken sandwich you can get. And you wanna know why? It's in the sauce. That sauce gonna hit oh so right. So let's jump right into it. So of course, we are gonna be needing some chicken breasts. Now these are some good hefty girls that I found, all right? So we are gonna go ahead and butterfly these because we want it to cook evenly and we don't wanna dry them out. So instead of two chicken breasts, this turns into four. Then we're just going to put them into a Ziploc bag, add a half a cup of pickle juice and about two teaspoons of hot sauce, shake it up, and we're gonna put this in a refrigerator and let it marinate for a good 30 minutes. While our chicken is marinating, let's go ahead and get started on that sauce that I told you about. We are going to be starting with a half a cup of mayo, one tablespoon of ketchup, a teaspoon of each regular and spicy brown mustard, a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and hot sauce, and I guess I just didn't want you to see it, but it will slap your mom. <laughs> We're using a teaspoon of that and then a half a teaspoon of onion powder, garlic powder, a teaspoon of paprika, and cayenne pepper and then y'all the star of the show the secret ingredient a tablespoon of brown sugar mm. trust me on this that brown sugar with that heat does something to it so we're going to mix that all together but of course in cooking your best ingredient is your palate so make sure you taste your sauce i tasted mine and realized i needed a little bit more kick and a little bit more sweet so i did add another teaspoon of hot sauce as well as a tablespoon of brown sugar and mix it up and then I'm putting this in a refrigerator until we're ready for it. Now let's jump right into making our seasoned flour. Make sure we're going to start with two cups of flour, a half a cup of cornstarch, and then all of these seasonings plus their measurements are going to be listed below in the recipe. You're just going to mix that completely together. Now we're going to move right on to our egg wash. For this one, we are taking two whole eggs, a tablespoon of heavy cream, and a teaspoon of hot sauce. Now, because you're making this at home, you get to choose just how spicy you like it. Now, my family's some little punks. Don't tell them I told you. But because of that, I didn't use as much hot sauce as I would normally prefer. But other than that, guys, your egg mixture is done. Now that we got everything we need to batter our chicken, we're just gonna take our chicken straight from our Ziploc bag Put it into our seasoned flour mixture, dump it into our egg wash, and then back to the seasoned flour mixture. At this point, you want to make sure that you are pressing your flour into your chicken breast because we want to make sure that it stays coated because this is going to give us that nice golden melanated, crispy, crunchy outside that we want. Go ahead and repeat with all of your pieces of chicken and also make sure you turn the pot of oil on medium high heat so that it's ready when we're done. Now when you're done, this is what your chicken should look like. Go ahead and test your oil, see if it's ready, and drop that chicken on in. Drop down and get your ingle on, girl. Ah, drop down and get your ingle on. <laughs> We're gonna let our chicken cook up. Now if you feel like your heat is way too high, always adjust as needed. But it's gonna take us, depending on how thick your chicken breasts are as well, about a good 10 minutes for this to be completely done. You should be trying to reach an internal temperature of about 160 to 165. I typically pull mine out at about 160 because it still continues to cook a little bit as it's resting and it's still out of the, the danger zone, you know. But in case you don't have a thermometer, totally okay. Chicken has a way of floating to the top to say, let me go, girl. Get me up out of this hot ass grease. So even if you don't have a thermometer, you should be able to tell when your chicken is done. Now cousins, the one thing we'll do around here is burn no chicken, all right? So to make sure, we're gonna keep a watchful eye over our chicken, give a little razzle dazzle toss and flip here and there throughout the process. Make sure she's not getting too golden brown on one side over the next. But when she's done, we're gonna go ahead and bring her out. Now baby girl had to stay behind, she was not ready. 
just about another minute or so. But when she came out, she was just as cute as the last one. Now, because these are still really hot, we're gonna go ahead and top it with our cheese so that it melts itself down. So the last thing we need to do is just go ahead and toast our buns. I'm using brioche buns and I don't use butter, I use mayo. And trust me, it is so much better. So you're just gonna take a thin layer of mayo, put it on your buns, toss it into a skillet over medium high heat and let her do her thing. Now when you start to see that sizzle right around the edges, it's probably time to go ahead and give baby girl a flip. See, oh, she cute. And y'all, I ain't need that spatula. I got them good old mom hands. But y'all, we are done. It's time to go ahead and build our sandwich. Now we're gonna go ahead and put some sauce on both sides of the bun. Because why? Because I say it so. Then you're gonna go ahead and lay your lettuce down, a few pieces of your tomato, and then good old hefty, hefty chicken breast. Top it with a few pickles or a lot of pickles, whatever you like. And because I'm a saucy, saucy girl, we're gonna add a little bit more sauce and then y'all, we are done. Y'all baby girl is looking too good. I'm ready to eat as you can see from the photo. But as always guys, I had such an amazing time making this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so that you can meet me here every Thursday when I drop a new video. As always guys, success is your birthright and I want you to go out there and get it.